Hi, my name is Wilf Bowen Ripley. I'm uh, a carriage driver from Essex. I run uh, Ashfield's Carriage and Polo Club um, here in near Dunmore. We have uh, an equestrian trust for uh, disabled drivers and all kinds of drivers here. I've been involved in uh, carriage driving pretty much most of my life. I uh, grew up with uh, carriage horses and worked as a groom for a few years while I was growing up and thought one day I'd like to start driving myself. And um, I was lucky enough to uh, get a sponsor to help me uh, find a pair and produce a young pair for carriage driving. I got into driving teams. I was a pair driver um, for quite a few years, um, doing international world championships as pairs. And I suppose the ultimate goal, and you pretty much would call a pair driver a uh, Formula Three driver, and then the team drivers Formula One. But you, you always want to be a Formula One driver in the, the carriage driving. And uh, when you have a pair, you have three horses. You have your pair and a spare, and I, I suppose I thought, well, I might as well just get one more horse, and then I've got four to make a team. Uh, actually, it isn't one more horse, it's like three more horses for a team. You need a minimum of six, really. You need your, your main team and then two spares, because um, things go wrong pretty quick in a team, and you, you average out uh, more horses go there and you always want something better so you keep finding another horse to improve your team and then another one so whatever you buy you but you'll buy problems but uh, you're just buying different problems when you drive a team it takes hours and hours of uh, manpower to to school the team up in in, in a carriage so um, pretty much if you can school your horses as singles and pairs that's definitely the best way but it takes up all day so I pretty much drive my team as much as I can just to save time really um, it would be nice to drive them all single and pairs every day but unfortunately um, we all have to earn a living and, and do some work sometimes so, but team driver does take over your life a little bit um, and you do want to, you do want to just throw every single thing into it when you when you're an international driver. You just throw every single minute you've got into driving a team, and a lot of other things take a back seat, which is uh, not really ideal. Uh, my biggest achievement, I think, in driving would be um, a one. I've won some medals, I've won British Championships a few times, but I think my biggest achievement would be is staying in driving. Um, I've been lucky enough to be able to um, <coughs> good people help me um, with sponsorship and uh, helping just come along. And so I think my biggest achievement is being, being able to drive for so many years. I think that's a big achievement, you know, and being able to afford to buy nice Zilco harness and things and and everything. Can, yeah, that's probably my biggest achievement is staying in driving. My advice to anybody who wants to get into team driving is don't do it. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, if you really want to do it, then you can come to Ashfields. And I do days where people try driving a team. I normally do it as um, a Christmas present, um, as a one-off, a bit like a red letter day I suppose really, um, but we've had quite a few do that. The, um, but you can drive a pair or a single. We do we cater for everybody here at Ashfields um, with the teams, singles, pairs, whatever you want to do. We can uh, we do, we do it all. We have uh, facilities for uh, para driving, everything like that. And we do take a lot of juniors in um, to bring them on into uh, make them into good drivers.